What's the deal? 11.34 a.m. Thursday, March 21st. And some more news came out on uh, about canopy growth. Canopy Growth announces acquisition of Agrinext USA, expanding hemp business. <clears throat> Canopy Growth Corp, a foray into the U.S. hemp industry, is speeding up with another acquisition with one of the largest cannabis companies in the world, said Thursday, that acquired hemp company Agrinext USA. So, what happened? The terms of the transaction and its value were not disclosed, though Canopy said the cash purchase was not material to its current cash position. Following the acquisition, Geoff Whaling, Agrinext USA CEO and chairman of the National Hemp Association, will be appointed to Canopy Growth's U.S. Division as Strategic Advisor for Hemp and CBD. Whaling has been working closely with Canopy since 2013. Why it's important? Following the legalization of hemp in the 2018 Farm Bill, the plant is expected to become a multi-billion dollar industry in the U.S. and potentially top cannabis given the much wider range of applications and industries such as advanced materials, Food, cosmetics, health, and wellness. Canopies was, Canopies was an early entrant into the hemp market. Yeah, so I guess... Typo, I guess. Uh, Canopy was an early entrant into the hemp market. Alright, whatever. Canopy said it expects the acquisition of Agrinex USA to put it on track for a fast expansion... In the U.S. recently, the company said it would build the first hemp industrial park in New York State after receiving a license to produce and process hemp. Canopy plans to invest between $100 million and $150 million in the operation, although co-CEO and chairman Bruce Linton said in an interview... <clears throat> That the amount could be expanded up to 500 million. What's next? Agrinex USA's vision is to build hemp industrial parks similar to the one that can be announced in New York. The park will work with farmers, giving them access to a single regional destination for their hemp crops and connecting them with researchers and entrepreneurs that can turn hemp into new innovative products. Yeah, this news seems more significant than the news that came out yesterday. But, uh, CGC still is, uh, looks to be, uh, trending downwards. So, um, ACB is down 2.6%. CGC is down 1.9, Kronos is down 2.3, Tilray is down 1.6, Cantrust is up 1.7, Afria is down 1.12%, GW Pharmaceuticals is up 3%, the ETF MG Alternative Harvest is down 0.26%, Village Farms is up 5.4%, Hexo is down 1.21%, and I did get a free stock for referring someone. This one is only worth $3.23. And I will be selling this stock as soon as possible. Basically after three days of trading. Three days. Three trading days. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. All I do really is uh, update my portfolio to y'all. Like I trade pot stocks only. And I update, it, I update the what I've been doing. And I read pot stock articles. Today, uh, all time I'm up 24%. Past year I'm up 33%.
Past three months, I'm up 51.5%. Past month, I'm up 14%. Past week, I am up 6.6%. Today, I'm up 0.13%. And I'm going to wait just a little bit before I start trading pot stocks again because I feel like they're, they're going to be going down. The last thing I did do was sell Aurora Cannabis at $9.84. I had 228 shares, so I sold that at $9.84. Right now, Aurora Cannabis is down $9.56, and I'm going to most likely wait until Monday to start trading again. And that's it, y'all. Peace out.